So guys, on the 20th of December, I was really, really, really sick. When I mean sick, I was taken to the hospital and on getting to the hospital, the doctor says my white blood cell was low. Guys, it came as a shock because I'm not the one who actually falls so sick. Like I keep going, I go on and go on and go on without breaking down, okay? But I felt like last year, I really pushed myself to the limit. Even though my ad work spoke for me, you know, you could see the growth on my channel and everywhere and you know But then again, I just came to realize that everyone has a breaking point. Okay, so getting to the hospital It says my white blood cell was low, which is actually caused by stress and anxiety Okay, now I start wondering where is the stress coming from? Then I realized I put so much on myself that my body could take only me doing YouTube, running at home, working a full-time job. Alongside YouTube, I also have side businesses. You get what I mean? Attached to YouTube, like CV review, one-on-one -on -one construction, cover letter, job application booking, which is just only me doing. You get what I mean? So it was too much for one person, you know, managing everything. Even though I have two people working for me in the sense that there's some things I kind of outsource in terms of the CV and the rest, you know, but I still need to manage it all by myself and do this all by myself, you know, so it was just so too much and I broke down, you know, just coming from the year on, working, 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 getting to the end of the year, 20th of December, I broke down. That was my limit. And guys, when I say I was sick, I wasn't exaggerating. I'm going to be leaving some pictures on the screen so you would see because I took some pictures. My skin was falling on its own. Like, guys, I've never been that down or that sick in my entire life. So this was a first for me. And this was a shocker for me. My skin was peeling and falling on its own. My tongue all got sore from what sore to over 100 sores on my tongue, I couldn't even count. To even drink water at that point was a miracle. I literally have to pray before I drink water because that is to let you know the intense pain I felt. So, going back to why I'm in Nigeria or why I left the UK to Nigeria, I knew I needed to come home. I knew if I come home, I may feel somewhat good and coming to Nigeria was an impromptu thing. It was never planned. You know, it was impromptu. I bought a ticket. Boom. I was already in Nigeria. And should I say that since I arrived over a week now, I'm improving in a lot of ways. Now, my daughter says I should stay away from stress, this and that. But guys, I've been off YouTube for two weeks and I feel like that is enough. And if you know me, I'm a kind of person that can't just sit without doing anything. Like, it's that is me like that is that is how i am no matter how much um my body may be feeling oh clara you need to rest you need to do no i would go on i would go on until i break you get what i mean so going forward this year i think i'll be taking a lot of time to myself now i'm not saying i'm taking any further break i'm back and i'm fully back here and i'm not going I think I'm not going off anytime soon. You see the consistency, I'm bringing it back. Yes, I may not be posting as much as I do, like four to five times in a week, but at least you guys should be expecting two videos from me in a week going forward. Now, I'll be in Nigeria for some few weeks. Firstly, for medical reason. Guys, you might be wondering, why would you leave the UK to Nigeria for medical reason? The UK is fucked up in terms of the NHS. If you, maybe you have... Um, something going on, maybe you want some medical emergency or whatever, you go to the NHS, they might give you just paracetamol or probably put you on the waiting list. Maybe for an instance, you want to get, um, should I say, scan done. You might be on the waiting list for three months just to do a scan. Meanwhile, you can come to Nigeria, do that. Just once you have the money, pay and you'll get the best of treatment. You get what I'm trying to say? So I'm also here to complete some project at hand alongside um, relaxing, taking the break, uh, you know going through some medical stuff and the rest you know i'm also here to you know to complete some projects 
but guys this is the reason why i'm in nigeria most of you have been speculating i, I saw a lot of comments people were saying oh you're in nigeria to get married <laughs> you make me laugh i've been married for years now okay i've been married for years and um, i'm not in nigeria to get married and most of you said okay i'm here for something majorly important and i'll be here for weeks all right however being in nigeria is not going to stop me from doing what i love to do i'm back on youtube back for the live video all services are now opened civic construction one-on-one -on -one booking everything is now opened would i say i'm 100 percent i won't say totally but however i am very fine you know once you're strong spirited there's nothing that's gonna break you down the devil might come and shake you but you're gonna bounce back by god's grace and i am back fully i'm not going nowhere as a matter of fact this year is gonna be our best year thus far this year is gonna be our year of victory this year is gonna be our year of success whether the devil likes it or not we're gonna put in the hard work and we're gonna reap the fruit of our labor guys i want to say this once again if anybody's chatting you on telegram chatting you on whatsapp saying you should give them money to get you a job that is not clara i do not do that okay so please beware i do not take money from anybody to get them a job neither do i require you to pay any form of amount to get you a job the only things i do is number one cv booking cover letter one-on-one -on -one section job application when you pay i render those services to you okay not that i will come and ask you for thousands of pounds to get a job i am not a recruiter I do not get people a job i only guide you on how to get those jobs and most of my videos here on youtube are quite informative for you to do them by yourself even without booking a one-on-one -on -one section with me guys also let me say this i am looking for ways to outsource a lot of things that i do most especially with my youtube um job yeah okay because it's not easy for one person especially you know some people on youtube have people editing for them doing their thumbnail whatever but since over a year plus i've been on youtube i do this by myself my editing my thumbnail planning filming everything it takes a lot just doing youtube not talk of doing youtube whilst working a full-time job a 40 hours job weekly whilst taking care of a family it was just too much on me so if you know anyone who is good in editing if you know a video editor if you know a graphic designer please let them apply within i'll be leaving the link to which they can apply in the description box of this video i would also be leaving my email if anyone is interested if you're genuine if you've worked for so long you know and your work can speak for you please send me your resume send me your cv if that is what you want to call and the work you've done thus far and let's talk okay i really need to assault outsource my video editing at source a lot of work i do on youtube most especially for the video stuff and that all i want to do henceforth is to see them make a video film and give it out for people to edit do the thumbnail and whatever i know i've been doing quite an amazing job thus far you know my editing is quite good maybe not perfect my thumbnail is excellent maybe not 100 percent but i'm doing a good job thus far but it will be much more better to take off the stress from me but you know let me say this when the daughter says oh you stress and this and that i'm like girl i'm doing what i love to do okay the body you see if we follow the body once in about life if you keep paying attention to your body you will not go far in life you will not succeed in life and i know yes i i really need the rest which i've done two weeks is enough for me sitting down not doing nothing you know but what i'm gonna say before i go is that sometimes we all have a breaking point but I'm back guys, tomorrow I'm going to be coming live, showing you care homes, showing you how to get this care homes, direct contact and everything. If you want to book a one-on-one -on -one section, the slot for January and February is widely open. If you want the civic construction, it's widely open. And for those people who are in Nigeria and they do YouTube, I don't know how you guys do it. It's so stressful just doing simple thing as YouTube in Nigeria. Is it that you're hearing um, chicken making noise or people in the company making noise or the power supply or it's just one thing or the other guys so this is the reason why i am in nigeria i have not left the uk totally and i don't think with the way nigeria is i will leave the uk totally anytime soon in fact i won't even advise anybody to do that now the country is fucked up <laughs> okay that i'm gonna be talking in my live video
tomorrow. So don't forget to tune in by 6 p.m. Nigeria time, 5 p.m. UK time tomorrow. And let's let's talk. Let's catch up why I do what I love to do best and why I give you guys all this information. Thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to give this video a very big fat like and subscribe if you haven't and as you do, may God bless you.